It's October. And today we're going to create a bat. A white piece of paper. I'm using a six by six inch size. You're gonna want oil pastels. You can use crayons if you don't have oil pastels, but I definitely recommend oil pastels for this. A wide flat brush, toothpicks, something to scrape off large areas with. So I have my scraping tool. A black poster paint. If you don't have poster paint, acrylic paint will do. It just works better with poster paint. Something to put your paint on. I'm using a dish, a jar with water, a hair dryer to make the lesson faster, and paper towels for cleanup. Once you have those supplies, you're ready to begin. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your oil pastels and you're going to color all over this. You can make a picture if you want. doesn't matter. So say you can you wanna, use any colors in different areas. Want to make a moon? Over here you could, but just don't use black because you're going to paint black over it and you won't be able to see the difference between the blacks. It's going to look Because you're going to cool. scrape away a lot of stuff. I've done this before. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah. Um, I like doing like square things like that, making them all connect. Ooh, I love oil pastels. Huh? Just be creative, huh? I love it, how they're so smooth when you, know. you color with them. And they can blend together. Yes. They're oil. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's really fun to layer colors on top of each other. Really? Mm-hmm. So, like, I can put this purple over it like this. And it darkens the color. Makes it kind of a brownish color, but you can still see some of the pink and the yellow. Pretty fun. Mm. I just like doing blocks. You can do whatever you want. Have fun. This one's not so oily. Oh, it's the same. They're just more. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> just Ooh. needs some time to get to, to where it's oily, uh, not yeah. really chalky spot. Yeah, that's what I meant. I just got distracted. Whoa. That's pretty. Oh, thank you. Yours is pretty too. I don't even really have anything on there. I like it already though. You like these It's colors? fun to see how different people do things. And it shows their personality a lot. <laughs> My personality is really calm. <laughs> yeah. And you like geometric shapes. And those are your favorite colors. Yeah. That kind of thing. Um, this blue, the blue that I'm putting on right now is actually my favorite color. I want a darker blue, but I don't think that's... I'm going to put in gray. But not black. Yeah, no black. Ooh, I thought of something. Really? Is it going to be cool? Yeah. It swirls. Oh, cool. I like that. I think I might need white, though. Yeah. Ooh, what's this color right here? This one might be nice. I'll use this one. I usually sometimes use bright colors because it makes I'm it look breaking this. really cool. I'm, I don't really have, like, a certain way I'm doing things. <laughs> yeah, you're just, like, randomly doing it, but it's so pretty. <laughs> I do that all the time. Just, like, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Blah, blah, blah. That's why I'm doing shapes. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, probably should put this. Put my hands there. This blue. 
Remember when I did that um, cool one before and it had a bunch of those things? I used just bright colors. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. was. Do we still have that? I think so. I think it's in my memory box. Yeah. Oh, uh, where was this? Not there, but okay. Um, for some reason this is turning into an ocean looking painting. <laughs> I mean picture painting. That, that is what I do for a living. Is I paint and do this. I teach <laughs> lessons. <laughs> yeah. Can't help it. It's just so much arty. <laughs> we love art. So fun. You can probably tell <laughs> we love art. Doing it right now. <laughs> so you're having so much fun. <laughs> yep. Art is our thing. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the yellow. If you ever put yellow in my painting, bright yellow, I would probably love it. I love yellow. And blue. If you ever put blue in a painting, I would try to buy it. Like, like blue. Oh. Especially if it's... You would buy a painting from me? Yeah. Goodness, I should pay you more so that you buy a painting from me. Hey, it's <laughs> your money. <laughs> like, <laughs> how is that supposed to work? You lose money and then you get it back. <laughs> well, that's, that's where you get your money. We pay, you for, we pay you for chores. Did you want this? You're looking at it. Um, I wasn't. I was never looking at that. Oh, you didn't want this? There's one of these things. It's kind of weird. It's like just wax. It's not anything. It's no color. So it's just a blending tool, but that seems to have some color. Really? It just it scrapes it off. See? Hmm. Weird. Yeah. Non toxic. Non -toxic. It doesn't say what it is. It's just. It's non-toxic, which is good because we don't want to have toxic things around. Yeah. No toxic things. Bye-bye, toxic. Never come back, toxic. Okay, where did this go? You took it. <laughs> okay, I'll just put it right here. That works. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing more. Me too. And more. Me too. And more. Me too. It doesn't really matter what this looks like under here. Why do I keep doing that? You're so strong. Don't break your pastels, guys. She broke like ten of them already. Actually, no, more like five, but so she's breaking them. I used to love uh, really small pastels. I have giant, thick oil pastels, and they're brighter than that yellow. Yeah. They're so bright. Remember? Yeah, are you almost done? I'm just going to keep going till you're done. Okay, I can't find the color I want. What color do you want? I just don't know. Mm. Okay, I'll just go with purple. I want purple. That's a predicament. <laughs> purple, you're very chalky. Gold, gold, gold. I was going to get that gold next. No, no, I'm not done with my purple. I knew you were going to get it, so that's why I chose purple. I knew you would. Just want to keep it like a Yes, because I'll cry over it. No, you won't. I won't. Um, I think I'm done. Then you can wait a minute. <laughs> All right. Well, while she's doing that, you can get your plate out and put your poster black paint on it. Don't worry, we're going to scratch it off. Yep, keep going, keep okay, going. Okay, okay. <gasps> okay, I just need that red. I need this red. I need this red. I need... That's not... And then you can take your wide flat brush 
and paint over everything I know even everything just everything just don't Let's think about it. it just go over it just go over it because you're gonna scratch you're gonna need your a couple bat. layers you're gonna scratch your bat out and so it's gonna have like a bunch of colors that's why I did mine like this and if you want to make sure that you don't make a really big mess this is more you can put a paper towel under it this mm -hmm. is our table that doesn't it's really matter there. but I'll just pretend like it matters so that <laughs> you guys know it matters to you and then let's go from side to side because she's a good artist oh thank you that's so nice okay I'm and make good. sure that it's nice and thick because otherwise you'll have to go over it more and more and more. More and more. And letting it just dry once is kind of nice. I made my paper towels this time. Okay. Okay, why she's putting on her black, I'm going to use my so hair dryer behind. and I'm going to dry mine. I'm so behind. Now you're going to grab your toothpick and you're going to turn your paper like this. And you're going to draw a U shape like that with your toothpick. Good. Now with me, go down the line and go down like this the line. Okay. Can't see yours. Make a circle. It's for the eyes. Some of it may chip off. It's okay. Okay, you're gonna make a line that goes up like this. Up like that. And then on the other side as well. <laughs> so that you can see it without messing up. That's okay. And then you're going to do an, another U shape like this. Going out. And then you're going to come in like this, which is kind of like a U shape too, but a curved line. Line. That means. <laughs> okay, and then a curved line going up. Like that. Another curved line. Like that. Okay, and then, do, uh, then you're gonna make a dot in the middle. Oh, that's scraped right there. So Okay, make a dot down here, and you're going to draw a curved line to this dot. About here? Yep, just go down. And then from that line to that line. That can be the smile. I guess that's what that's going to have to be. <laughs> okay, this one's going to be a smaller bat. And it's going to have two points at the top. And why this um, type of stuff really works is because it scrapes off so easily. So you'll have to kind of go with the flow. Now it doesn't matter what happens on the outside. It just matters what black, what the black looks like. Okay? You make mine up here. Yep, you can put it wherever you want. Oh! <gasps> Okay, and you liked the what this one that goes up like this really high. Goes up like that. Okay. It's kind of like that. And then it curves down like this. Of course that's gonna look different. I like the blacks off. 
There's that. Okay. Two little eyes. Okay. And this curved line going down right here. Kind of like a frowny face, but it's yeah. not a frowny face. <laughs> then these go up. Line that goes up. The line that goes up. Okay, and then it points. It's down. It points. Points. Yep. Like a bump. And then it points and goes to this side. Look at that. Go all the way. Yep. So those are the two bats you liked. Okay, so you can do two things. You can scrape everything around your bat off, or you can just scrape in moon shapes and star shapes like this. And it just depends on what you want. Okay, I'll show you what both of them look like. Oh, that's pretty. Yours is pretty too. And then once you're done scratching everything that you want, then you're done! Here's a finished bag. I hope you have fun. Share your artwork with hashtag Artober. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow for another fun Halloween art project. Bye! Bye.